right, well, we love looking at Halloween decor in people's yards, but one community in Utah is turning heads because of their risque display. Halloween decorations at a Grantsville home in Utah have split the community the days after city officials demanded that it be removed. Some are calling the display inappropriate, while others are donating their own decorations to the cause. The homeowner put up the skeleton pole dancer on a city sign. He says the only backlash he received was a neighbor who kept coming over to cut it down. The homeowner moved the skeletons off the city property and made the display even bigger, adding lights, music, and more skeletons. So as you can see there, he's added to it. And oh, I have to tell you guys, on a personal note, I was born in Grantsville, Utah. This is a very small town. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a suburb of Salt Lake City. So, you know, Salt Lake City is a big city, but then Grantsville's over by the Great Salt Lake. This is where I was born. I lived there um, while I was a child. But it's a very conservative community. So the fact that they have these skeletons up on a pole very interesting. Are oh, I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> yeah, that's Linda thinks it's great. Are you surprised that so many of the community, knowing that community, that yeah. so many of them have actually come out in support of this? I'm not surprised because it's changed over the years. Maybe uh -huh. the last like 10, 20 years it was conservative, but it's evolved more. It's more of a melting pot now than the conservative Utah that we're used to seeing. So more people are a little more open-minded, but there are still those people that are like, yeah, we shouldn't have this up. But the thing is, is they put out a tip jar and the homeowner, people were putting money in the tip jar so the homeowner could go buy more skeletons to add to his display of skeletons up on a pole. What bothers me about that is the neighbor walked over Cutting and, it down. and cut it down. Yes. Don't you dare cut down my don't decorations touch. and yeah. I will not touch yours. Well, and I think where the don't issue... Do this. Well, one of them was on a city land. The one she was cutting off was on a city pole. So that was okay because it was on that little right, grassy piece right. and then he moved him into his yard. So now he's saying, the city can't tell me what to do because it's in my yard. When it was on their property, they could tell right. me to cut it down. Right. Okay. But yeah, still don't come over and touch my but yeah, yeah. yeah. my decor. City property is a whole different thing. Yeah. This isn't something that I've seen in my neighborhood, but I, I don't think I would get mad at it. That's I've a call. I bet the skeletons. city worker who got the call was like, hey, you got to come take down yeah. this display. Was not expecting There's that a display. Pole a feather boa. Yes, yes. <laughs> it just adds more, uh, shines more light on it. <laughs> yes. Well, happy Halloween, everybody. Yeah. All right, let's check into our.